Some of you might be asking yourselves, Esteban, why risk your life? Why do you commit yourself to saving other people? And well, you know, I look at them in the face and I say, why not? My name is Lieutenant Sarge. I'm the backbone of this force. I put the force in force. You know, without me, there'd be nothing here. You'd die in that ocean. Hi, my name's Bradley, and I'm the rookie on the force this year. It's been my lifelong dream to be part of this beach patrol. Name, Scott Riley. Profession, part-time lifeguard, full-time stud. That there is the ocean and it wants you to think that it's your friend. It tells you it's your friend. It's got these little waves that come in and it's like it's saying hi to you, saying come play with me. So you go out there into the ocean, in that shallow water, collecting seashells, playing with your so-called friend, and before you know it, bam! That friend turns into a 100-gallon sea monster that wants to do nothing but eat you alive. Enos is a mute, but he gets it. He communicates via facial expressions. Personally, I'd say he's probably the smartest one in the group. Today, we are going to talk about what to do if you catch on fire. Now, I know what you're thinking. This ball, why do we need to worry about fire on the beach? Well, let me tell you something. 98% of beach injuries is fire related, okay? First of all, you may think if you catch on fire, did you need to drop to that ground and roll? Let me tell you. No, sir. You are not to even go in the ocean because you think they'll put it up. But what did I tell you? That ocean is a sea monster. And this here sand and beach, that's the sea monster's BFF. But what you can do is go down to that there ocean, just to the edges, okay? And splash that little bit of water on you to get that fire off of you. I would rather have you have those burns and put that out than to be eaten by that sea monster. Okay? Alright, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Alright, here, here I go. Alright, now it's your turn. Let's see y'all do it. I heard a rumor that uh, Sarge over there got kicked out of the Coast Guard because he set off mortar shells in the mess hall. The rumors are true. I'm an ex-Coast Guard drill instructor. The Coast Guard is too soft for me. Not here. No, sir. This force is going to be tougher than beef jerky. One, two, three. Come on, let's see a three-minute mile. One, two, three. One, two, three. Get back up. Lieutenant Sarge is a little crazy. He's a... Uh, He's pushed me real hard, but I think it's gonna make me a better beach patrol officer. I have already felt like I've grown under him and I can do no wrong with his teaching. Bradley, physically, he's weak. Hardishly, he is strong. And someday, he has the potential to be like me, and be a lieutenant on this force. Sarge, look, I got a kite! Yes, I love this beach. I love staring at it. I love the gulls for their grace, the ocean for its power. But you know what I'm not a fan of? All these shoebies roaming these grounds. They think they know what's up. Entirely false. I know what's up. I save their lives. They need me. I don't need them.
We've got a serious situation. All that training we've done, all five hours, has led up to this moment. We just got word that an iceberg from the Arctic Circle is headed to the beach. All right? Now this ain't no game. We gotta evacuate everybody. No one stays in that water. You hear me? All right, let's get on. Hey, I'm talking to you. You get out of here pronto. Get out of the water. Right now. You don't know what you're doing. Hey, good job, boys. I'm proud of y'all. You take that 45-second break, and then we back on. All right? Good job.